We're down below here on Dongfong Racing in Newport. Uh, after the video that we did in Auckland about the pedestal system, uh, we had quite a few questions about how the drive system actually works and how the torque is um, transferred from the pedestal through the gearbox and up into the um, winch. So we thought we'd just show you exactly what was inside these gearboxes and how it all worked. As the torque comes down the pedestal, it goes into the Xbox, which is turned into a horizontal torque and goes through the drive shaft. The drive shaft is a carbon drive shaft with a aluminium flange glued into the end. I can show you exactly what that looks like. In here we've got a donut which comes, comes out and this is slightly angled so it takes up to four degrees of deflection. And here you can see the flange which is glued into the carbon drive shaft. These can take a lot of torque and in, in Alicante, at the beginning of the race, we tested all of them for a certain amount of torque to make sure they were all okay. These are the same drive shafts that started the last race. So as Mark alluded to, the torque coming through this horizontal drive shaft is transferred vertically into the winch through this bevel box. So these are an aluminium gearbox, oil filled, so they're permanently lubricated. They have a magnet built into the side, so they collect any swarf that may come off the gearing. They also have an inspection window in the bottom so that we can see what's going on in there. And at a minimum, these gearboxes will come out of the boats three times during the race for a full service. So here you can see in our cutaway pieces what's internal in that bevel box. We have two bevel gears, and you can see that by simply turning the horizontal bevel gear, it in turn turns the vertical bevel gear, which turns the winch above. So let's go forward and pull one apart and see what's inside. <laughs> So we've moved right back now into Donfong Racing, underneath the aft pedestal. What you can see here is the pedestal itself, um, drive shaft and the button. These drive shaft and the button control the main sheet winch which is just forward. The Harkin button itself has a carbon flange which is bonded into the boat. And then the button is screwed into place. Thank you. 